It is New Movie Friday, and we have the ones you need to check out. Yes, movie critic Manning Franks That's is me. back with us, joining us this morning. Manning, so glad you're here. So um, you. let's let's dive into it this week. Well, this week, we're going to switch it up a little bit, doing something a little different, because next week is the River Run International Film Festival. I'm sure you guys are both very familiar with that. I am, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, next week, they are having a couple of films by a couple. I mean, 196. Wow. So, wow. yeah, and I'm going to pick three that I got to see early and telling you what you should do. So this one we have is called Mad About the Boy. It is the opening night documentary they're having. Uh, Mad About the Boy, the Noel Coward story. Have you familiar with Noel Coward? I don't know. I, he's a playwright, actor, director, composer. Okay. Yeah, rings yes. a bell, okay. Yes. yes, he's written some, lots of plays back in the day, uh, back in the early uh, 90s, uh, excuse me, and by the 90s, I mean 1900s, hmm. uh, until basically his uh, passing, I believe, in the 1970s. So he is a prolific uh, artur of most, I um, uh, think, of cinema and of plays. He's an overall, uh, it's a documentary about his life and explaining kind of like what he uh, was up, uh, what kind of uh, went from, uh, the guy who's on top to a guy who kind of became, yeah. you know, a little recluse just because uh, he was uh, closeted for most of his life and most people okay. didn't know that until he ultimately his last few years and so wow. it's about his life and it's a really good documentary if you'd like a good cradle to grave documentary and wanting to know more about a nice artur like Noel Coward. Hmm. Okay, that one looks good. What about Ghost Trap? Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. This is a based off of a book about a Maine lobster community. So I uh, don't know much about lobstering, I will tell you that. <laughs> me, me either. I will, don't know much about that. <laughs> However, Lobster's this is from <laughs> a Greensboro native director, oh. and he is making, adapting this book. And in this one, this young, this, uh, young man, uh, his girlfriend suffers a tragic injury, oh, and no. he is caught between uh, his duty as a lobster, trying to make and save enough money for them, and also taking care of her, while getting caught in between uh, shall we say, uh, a rival lobster uh, uh, company. So at this wow. point, it's him trying to navigate this life in this small town. Mm. It's really good. It's a nice small drama in this small main town. And honestly, I think it's a really good uh, uh, time if you just want a nice little quiet drama. It's really good, especially from a Greensboro native. Now, yeah. you know, I, well, that's what I was going to say. You mentioned Greensboro native. And correct me if I'm wrong, but there are a lot of local folks who have worked on a lot of these films that are at the River Run Festival. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was at Appalachian State, a lot of the students there in the film uh, in the film department would do a lot of audio projects and work with the River Run Film Festival, and that was something that they did every year. So it does have local ties, which is huge. It absolutely does. And one of those local ties, I was lucky enough to be able to talk to. His name is Jerry Gibson. He directed the documentary called Through the Line, which is about the uh, uh, the um, Fusion in C. I'm not sure you guys are familiar with that a football yeah. club. Yes, yeah. of course. The 2021 season, they followed them for that entire season oh, and they put that. together this documentary. Oh, uh, listen cool. to what he and a couple of guys did during this entire time. Listen to him. Over 40 hours of interview footage, not even thinking about all the game footage and everything that had to be whittled down to a film, you know, less than two hours. Uh, we felt like we'd done something very, uh, that we were proud of. We were proud of the work and we thought that the players who we were fortunate enough to accompany them, um, we felt like they'd they'd be proud of us too, and they'd look at it and be proud of themselves. Making something out of it. It's really cool to hear someone who is a Winston-Salem native himself yes. yeah. being able to bring this to River Run. He was so excited when I talked to him, and I'm excited. I don't know much about soccer or football, yes. but I, it was really good, and I think it's a really human drama, and that's what, at the end of the day, that's the documentaries that really shine through. Yeah, yeah NC Fusion is huge here. It I'm is. excited to see that one. Yeah, and that'll be available, uh, of course, uh, April 21st and April 23rd, Winston-Salem and Greensboro, respectively. But there's more information for the festival and it's through April 18th through the 27th in Winston-Salem and Greensboro. You can get your tickets now at riverrun.com. There's so many more than just now. All right, thanks, Manny. Let's get a final look at that forecast, too, on this Friday morning. It's still a bit windy now as we go into our Friday afternoon and an isolated shower not ruled out once we get into this afternoon and this evening. We're up in the mid-60s for today, but look ahead at the weekend. Low 70s, still a bit breezy for Saturday, but by Sunday, you're going to like that. Sunny and 80 and warm and... Well, you know what? We just kind of lock into that for the majority of next week. Low to mid 80s all the way through Thursday, and we do look to stay dry for a while too, which is great. We have had plenty of rain. The only downside of that is that pollen will get that again. So go ahead and start taking that allergy medicine and keep that close by. All right. Thank you so much for joining us for the Good Morning Show at 9 on this Friday. We'll see you back here for WFMY News 2.